I can't be the only person who every time after my day off, I feel like it's Monday. So I'm so ready to say happy Monday. But, um, wait, today's what day even? Thursday. Happy Thursday. I'm going to work. A little hot. Barely ate breakfast. Need to leave. But, you know, happy Thursday. My hair took me so long to, like, just put this wig on. And I just feel like, oh my god. I need to start putting it on the night before because this just took 40 minutes. I mean, I was doing other things in between. But still, I feel like it shouldn't have taken me that long. And I gotta say 40 minutes. So, we're gonna start doing it the night before. But as we know it, we have the curls. And as the day progresses, then they'll fall naturally. Anyways, hi. How are you guys doing? I need to get ready or like finish getting ready and leave. So as we know it, ever so often I come on here to vent about shit that is pissing me off. And on today's episode of all of what I just said, the banking system in Jamaica pisses me off so much. I have an account that I have not used in so, so long. And if somebody, anybody, if you're watching this and you work at... <laughs> NCB or Jamaica National and you want to help me, just DM me, please. I have an account that I haven't used in a very long time. So, you know, the account is a little inactive because obviously there hasn't been any activity in over three years at this point, right? I'm calling the bank because I literally just want a statement that has the account holder's name, maybe the account number, and like when the account was opened. That's literally all I want. And the girl is telling me that. Sis said I'm gonna have to mail some papers to update the account. Even though all the information that she asked me for to prove that the account was indeed mine. I was able to give her that in order for her to access the account. Sis, you can't just email me that front page. You you can't just email me the mother page. I'm so upset. I'm so. If anybody's watching this who's Christian, I'm so sorry. But I'm so upset, and I'm I'm human. Okay, very upset. You can't just email me the front page. I was able to provide you with my TRN number and everything else that you asked for on the account. I also said to her that if I can't tell you everything thing on there verbatim it's because i opened this account so long ago i can't remember what i ate yesterday chances are some of the information i'm not going to be able to remember she had an attitude because i couldn't remember um what couldn't i remember the address that i opened the account with i told her an address where i was the girl said tell me your mother's maiden name i told her my mother's maiden name she said if that is my mother's name before or after marriage. I said, excuse me, what is maiden name? Isn't that her name? What is maiden name? She she told me what maiden name is. Okay, hey, that was her maiden name. Are you good? Like, are we? <laughs> and I really composed myself on the phone. But her attitude really just sucked. And I just feel like this online banking is ass out there, okay? I said to her, there is no possible way. For me to be able to go online and update my account information? No. Are you shitting me? In 2021, I'm not able to update my account information online. Girl is telling me. I'm so all over the place with this story. Because I'm so upset. And now that I'm reliving it, I'm even more upset. The girl is telling me that. I'm going to have to get some shit notarized. Mail it to them. <laughs> in this era where shit is getting lost in the mail. Mail it to the bank. Somebody is going to manually update my account with the information that I provided. And then I should call them to find out if it was updated. When, if there was an option to do all this online, I wouldn't have to call nobody to find out if the information was updated. Because I could have been able to do it myself. Her, the worst part about this was her attitude. No, the worst part was the fact that I called twice. They asked for a number. Um, a callback number. And I gave them that. The call. 
people ended, nobody called me back. So I'm expressing to this third person now that, you know, the call ended twice and nobody called me back. The girl said, yeah, we will prioritize the new person who's calling and they will call you back at a later date. So Tiffany, Tiffany, you're telling me that. The fact that you didn't even finish helping me and the call ended, you're going to just let me wait and take a brand new customer as opposed to calling me back to see how well you can help me and finish with me first and then take somebody else. So imagine how many people are just in line waiting to get a call back because of this shit show they have going on. Like I'm so upset and the worst part is I have money. It's both Jamaica National and NCB and I have money in both of these accounts and I'm not able to access these accounts because they want to be stupid how is it that in 2021 you don't have the option for us who live overseas to be able to and let me just say this i'm not one of those shitty customers like i'm i'm so calm and like i have it together in terms of like being able to explain exactly what i want and let me have sense okay so I'm not a shitty customer who's just going to be on the phone going off, acting crazy. But I'm telling you, this third girl here, this Tiffany girl here, the, the moment, moment she answered the phone, she heard that I was so upset. And instead of like trying to calm me down and saying some shit like, I understand your frustration, but you know, I wasn't the two people, obviously, who the call ended with and they didn't call you back. And, you know, just let me see how I can help you. I was saying... The people didn't call me back because they just took new people and left me there. Excuse me, what? What in the sh I honestly just feel like... And I love that I'm Jamaican and I wouldn't change anything about the fact that I am Jamaican. But as a country, we are so backward. Backwards. Backward. We're very backward. Like, what the hell? How is it, how is it even possible that you're not able to update your account information online? And not only is it a problem that you can't update it online, you can't call them people either for them to help you do it over the phone, providing all the information that is needed to verify that you are indeed the person who owns the account calling. They can't help you. I'm sorry. You're going to have to mail it. I need it tomorrow. Can I mail it and you do it tomorrow? Can I'm so upset. And the reason why I'm so upset is not even because there's money in the account that I can't use in both of the accounts, Jamaica National and NCB. But it's just the fact that I want the bare minimum. I literally just want a statement that shows that I am the owner of the account that's all. Email it to me and we will get back to updating the account information at a later date. You can't do that either, even though I've provided that I am the account holder. How is that possible? So there's no hope for, 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 for people who live overseas. Like we can't, we just can't. What? Just wow. Like, who's running these institutions? Like, hire some millennials in tech so they could figure out the online part of things. What is going on? And this is the last one I'm going to make. I'm hoping. The girl said, um, what is the ID that you use to, um, to open the account? My national ID, sis, is what I use to open the account. Obviously. From the time that the account was open and the mere fact that the account is inactive, that ID would have been expired. It's been mad years. I said I haven't lived there in this amount of time. Do the calculations. The ID would have been expired. I don't have it. I do not have it. I'm able to give you my TRN number. Your TRN number is like your social security number. You don't just give it out to people. So a random wouldn't just be pulling up with my... Ugh, I'm so over this ghetto shit. Like, this is truly very ghetto. Okay, Jamaican National and NCB, get it together. I know.
I said it was the last one. But you know what bothers me the most? I work in customer service. And I'm telling you, the moment those people pop into that store, I'm greeting them. And that is if I'm working the register or like the front of the store. I'm greeting them even when they ignore the daylights out of me. Okay? Hi, how are you? Would you like me to help you with anything? These bitches on the phone? Keep in mind, I said... 10 minutes ago i'm very upset these people on the phone they don't know how to talk to you what the hell you will not be doing is giving me an attitude on this phone let me talk to a manager i don't have time for this extra shit okay what the hell is wrong with you did you not want to come to work today find a different job just the other day i was talking about this at my job listen if your job no longer serves you bitch find a new job do not be out here giving people attitude Anyways, I clearly still did not get what I called them for. So, <laughs> I'm just on here ranting because I'm so upset. The girl had an attitude in addition to the fact that she couldn't help me over the phone and I couldn't help myself online. So, it was just a colossal waste of time. The whole thing, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 minutes that I was on the phone for was just... A waste of 40 minutes of my life that I will never be able to get back. Now, <laughs> the ghetto. The literal ghetto. Okay? I can't. I cannot make this up. And this is not my first experience going through something like this with Jamaica National and NCB representatives on the phone. I don't think they know what they're doing. I don't know.